453 calories in 30 minutes. Oh. Oh. That was rough. That was very, very rough. Back on the step. The whole time I was sat on this bike. Dirk Craig, it's a 30 minute blooming air bike, you idiot. From what I could see was the Team Richie team at Body Power. You guys know who you are, you represented the whole team at Body Power. And I'm just pushing myself and training myself to do it for myself, but I also do it for you guys. And I just stared at this quote. I can do today what others won't, so I can do tomorrow what others can't. Matt Fraser. Win of the weekend for the points leader, Matt Fraser. Matt absolutely smashed the game, point record scorer. I just had him pictured in my head throughout that whole workout and saying like, don't slow down man, you'll regret it. Here by myself. Getting it done. Also, from now on, I'm going to refer to this step as the pain step. But it just seems every single workout that I die on, I just come and sit here, so I thought it was a fitting name. To answer this question for you quickly as well, I got asked it on one of my vlogs recently. It was if you had to choose one piece of equipment for your home gym, would you choose the rower or the air bike? Personally, I'd choose the air bike, just because I like the burn on the lungs and the legs and the arms, and just I don't think there's anything like it for sprints for building that general overall power, but also just improving your long cardiovascular game. That's not to say the rower isn't incredible too for sprints and building your power and your cardiovascular game. Basically what I'm trying to say is if whichever one you're going to use the most is my, my advice. It's like, which one inspires you to work more, if that makes sense. But also I would choose the air bike just because we have rowers at our gym and most CrossFit boxes have the rowers and not all CrossFit boxes have air bikes. You can't build an engine like being on a rower but you also can't build an engine like being on a bike. It just depends on which one you're gonna use the most when it's in your house there, which one's gonna inspire you more to train. Oi, 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 oi. Well, hang on, is it all around me chop? What's this invention here? Wholemeal bagel, peanut butter, smooth, don't like the bits, Nutella. Wonder where he got that idea from, Jess? I have no idea. Not a clue. It's amazing what happens when you live together, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's on the vlog. <laughs> Don't. I get shy. <laughs> no, sh you're not allowed to. No, no, Ed no. dropped a bar on his head. <laughs> <laughs> now that the CrossFit Games are well and truly over, and obviously the big names, Tia Claire Toomey and Matt Fraser, are kind of won in the limelight rule around them, I just wanted to do a massive shout out on this vlog to a person who is a member of this team who got a medal at the CrossFit Games in the 15 category, Reese Mitchell, second ever person from Great Britain to get a medal other than Sam Briggs. You killed it. Great job. That's a freaking unbelievable achievement. Are you ready for rep it out yet? No. No, neither am I. I've for forgotten how to do a pull up. Solid. Generally forgotten how to cross it. <laughs> Terrible. Dude, this is chaos. Uh, this is my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> one week off has ruined my body, and one week off for Matt has he's completely forgot how to do a pull up. Prep's going well. How's the weightlifting life? It's alright. It's alright. I went for um, PV today and snatched four singles at 90. Missed every one. I was expecting a mega story there of how yeah, you I conquered wish, the world. I wish I could give you better news than that, but that's, yeah. Silver lining is, I hit my previous PV. And it's the first time I've been there since November last year, so yeah, better. May not hit PBs every day, but that's it, mate. as long as you're progressing. Big pull, big pull. Nice. Big pull. Just uh, what up, guys? Alright. Tonight the box we're going to do some kind of bodybuilding style training. Starting off with 10 strict underhand chest bar pull-ups, straight into 20 tricep dips. This is why I kind of find bodybuilding really does help CrossFit is because I know a lot of people when they come into CrossFit they think, oh I want to be able to kip, I want to be able to do the butterfly movements, but basically the fundamentals and the basics of it is the strict work. So coming from bodybuilding people usually have a good amount of strict strengths and they can learn the movements with very little kind of worry. I'm going to go into an explanation over a commentary I think. What is going on team? Craig G back with another commentary over this video and today I just literally wanted to cover a topic that I've been asked a lot recently. It's should you do bodybuilding before you start CrossFit? Now kind of the short answer to this is bodybuilding and CrossFit basically go hand in hand. Obviously if you come from bodybuilding you'll have a lot of strict strength. You'll have a good muscle base so you should be able to do quite a few pull-ups, do quite a few push-ups and have kind of the basic moves down of the squat, the deadlift 
and the bench press. And that strength means that then you're going to progress a lot quicker in CrossFit because you don't have to spend that much time on building your strength. Rather, you can take that time and put it into learning the different techniques. Which is great. It will basically allow for a smoother transition. But a couple of the downsides that I have seen of people that have done bodybuilding before they've come to CrossFit and including myself is that one, because bodybuilding, a lot of it is in a unilateral plane. You just kind of pump weights. You'll be strong in certain movements and certain ranges. But then when it gets to things like squat cleans, snatch, clean and jerk, ring muscle ups, where your body and limbs have to go through a few different ranges, you may find that you're pretty stiff. And two, because in bodybuilding, a lot of the rep ranges are kind of like six to 12 reps three or four sets on each exercise, you don't necessarily train your cardiovascular system, which is obviously a vital part in CrossFit because a lot of a lot of CrossFit comes down to your fitness levels. But here's where bodybuilding and CrossFit kind of go hand in hand. You know, when you're looking at bodybuilding and you're looking at CrossFit, people look at them as two completely separate disciplines, which in a way they are, you know, in bodybuilding, you're all about how your physique looks, you diet down for shows. The whole main aim of it is to put on muscle. Whereas in CrossFit, your whole main aim is performance. But the underlying foundations of both for the sports is performance and need for kind of strength increase and stimulus overload is always going to be there because at the end of the day it's just training <laughs> and i've found i've used so much bodybuilding within my crossfit training and a hell of a lot of crossfit programming uses bodybuilding style of training throughout it maybe making up to even 70 percent of it in the off season just because you need to build that strong dense muscle to help protect the joints to help protect the ligaments when you're doing things like kipping pull-ups when you're doing things like butterfly pull-ups honestly your strict strength is your basis so it's such a vital part. And then the only kind of separation that makes it CrossFit and that makes us do CrossFit is that we'll add in kind of the Olympic lifting moves and the more high intensity workouts, more engine based workouts. So we actually in the CrossFit box spend a hell of a lot of time increasing our strict strength, which maybe the world out there don't usually see. A lot of the world see the kipping and the butterflies because that's what happens in competition to make us more efficient. But really behind all that, I would say a very high percentage of the work that we do is strict. Because obviously if you increase your strict strength, then your numbers within kipping and butterfly and everything else will increase. So to kind of put it basically, what we do is a more functional style of bodybuilding. And talking about functional bodybuilding, in a second there is going to be a bit after this commentary where I take you through a couple of exercises. If you want to see more of it and you want to see functional bodybuilding days, put it down below and I'll make the videos happen. And just to end this commentary, if you are one of those people who are completely brand new to lifting and you're thinking of just getting to, into a training program I would highly recommend going into CrossFit too just because one it gives you a structured program to follow so you can go in every day and there will be a workout on the board for you to do and there'll be scaled options for that so you can use the scaled options to build your base strength until you can complete the workouts fully and reason number two is probably the biggest one you get involved with the community and you have that kind of accountability and you'll just make a load of friends. I hope this commentary made some sort of sense. The whole point being CrossFit utilizes so much bodybuilding within its training that yes, if you do bodybuilding before you do CrossFit, great, it's gonna help you with your transition over. Or if you haven't, it's not gonna make that much difference. You're still gonna do so much bodybuilding within CrossFit and build your strength and build more of kind of an athletic physique. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. If you are enjoying this video and you have enjoyed that commentary, as always, smash the like button. It really, really does help the channel. And I hope that answered the question. If you do have any more questions, put them down below and we will talk to you guys later on in the video. Oh, I jacked up my leads. So it's just literally like inbox last night on Facebook, just ping, 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 and just like nine inquiries in the probably about an hour. And it must, I take it, it must be the CrossFit Games, unless it's Fitness on Earth. On that. Thank you, CrossFit Games or Fitness on Earth. Cash show, yeah. Got your present, Kieran Cash. Oh, no. Nice. Oh. Where can you get your merchandise? Too much you dot. Duck out UK. Forward slash Alt. shop. Forward slash shop. For all your living the dream style t-shirts. Always plug. Limited quantities left Always in the plug. small. We're also thinking about releasing the We Don't Quit t-shirts that we did for the open bit in black. I think that that would look epic. What do you think about that team? Functional bodybuilding as well. I'm gonna... If you want to see a full kind of vlog, full workout on functional bodybuilding, upper body day, lower body day, put the comments down below and just we'll make it happen. But this is one of the exercises that I include. We're using the tricep kind of push down rope. When people use when people use this when they're doing the pulls, you get limited in range, so you can't fully activate your rhomboids, you can't fully activate your lats. And for someone like me who's looking for shoulder health, the activation of your rhomboids and the strength of your lats in kind of a horizontal pulling motion is very important for holding your back and your body in a good position when you're doing things like cleans, deadlifts, basically any kind of pulling off the ground. What this cable allows you to do is it allows you to internally rotate your hands and it allows you that more range of motion to get your elbows further back 
get a bigger squeeze between the shoulder blades, get a bigger contraction in the lats. So, yeah. Just meaning, just meaning you're building strength in a bigger range of motion. Is my shoulder way higher? Not as bad as it has been, but it is higher. This one's actually really tough, you should try this one. So this second exercise, awesome for things like thrusters, that initial drive off the shoulder, but also for the activation of the core. So what we're doing is a unilateral move, one-sided. You want to keep your hips facing forwards. You don't want to be in this twisted position. You want to keep your hips twisted forward. That's going to keep your core engaged. And it's just adding that lateral movement into the move without moving. It's like an isometric hold in a lateral plane. What you're doing is you're literally just driving up and out. So it's kind of the same thing when you come out of a thruster. You pop up and you drive up and out. Just building the anterior delts, building the upper pec, whilst keeping your core and everything stable. Locking out at the top, contracting the tricep, same thing as the top of the thruster. It's just a great move to add in as an accessory, which doesn't necessarily mean you need to be in a full range of motion and you don't need to like load your joints like you would in a thruster or a cleaner or anything like that. Just building the stability in the arm. That's why we use the cable. Boom, functional bodybuilding. Now we're just gonna do some accessory work. Rear delts again, rotator cuff muscles, simple exercises, high reps, low weight, making sure we're just keeping the movement controlled. Ready, Jazz? I know why you're so jacked now. Holding your bloody camera. Yeah. This way it aches. <laughs> if ever you're watching Craig and all of a sudden the camera goes, it's because I've had too much to swap off. Hey, stop that? that looks like a dance. That looked like a stop dance. Stop droning move. on. That looked like a dance move. Hey. <laughs> oh. hey. <laughs> Look at the sky. How insane is that? What? It's like super pink. Woo! Yeah. Stop laughing at me. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I could go up here, but I can't. I'm going to slow down. Up a bit more. There you I go. can't see, can I? It's there, Kieran. Allergic? Mr. Cabbage. 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 Is that official now? I don't know, it is now on the vlog. By the way, I'm loving this hip hop. Huge fan of old school hip hop. Huge fan. Any good old school hip hop songs, put them down below. Time to go home. There's a caravan in the car park. There's a light on. I love my town at night. Look at it. So pretty. Wagon mamas. Wagon mamas. Oh, no, not tonight. Oh. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. What did they do, Jazz? The guys knew our order at the, at the kebab shop. Look at little Sparks' face. What are you doing, Dad? It's all right. Me, I'm looking at the um, the bones of the skeleton. What's up, little man? What's up? You good? I'll wait for it. Oh, there goes the leg. Got it. Nailed it. It's heavy. These are. This is a heavy bone. It's not a heavy bone. No, sorry, it's a flat bone. Yeah. It's a flat bone, not a heavy bone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. I want to end this vlog by saying thank you to every single one of you guys that went to the CrossFit Games and repped the Team Richie t-shirts. Massive shout out to Cody Lane who got an awesome picture with someone from Mayhem who then they reposted it on the Mayhem site. Freaking cool. But to all you other guys that repped the team and if there's any of you guys that have photos of you repping the team that haven't put on Instagram, send them to the Facebook and I'll happily plaster them all over this video. It's crazy to think that that t-shirt made it all the way from this kitchen 
to some person somewhere else who then wore it to the games and now it's on CrossFit Mayhem's page. It's insane. Worldwide. So cool. Crazy. But anyway. What was that? Jasmine has barbecue sauce on a grilled chicken kebab. I have garlic mayo and chili. But as I was gonna say, tonight was awesome. Just getting a pump, doing a bodybuilder style workout was actually really, really fun. Felt swole. Very successful day. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, as always, smash that like button, like and subscribe. If you are here at the end of the video, you might as well just go down a little bit and just click it and it goes blue and it's awesome. And then you get to see us all the time. Woo. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Say bye, Dad. <laughs> Say bye, Sparks. Bye, Sparks. All right. Oh. <laughs> that is a stare and a half. Stare down, team and the dog. Stare down, team and the dog. Oh, we can't hold it, team. Come on. Hold it, team. Now the dog's gonna win. Come on.